everyone, Melissa here, and today we're going to be making this adorable card using a number of Imagine products and Tsukaneko products to color the card itself, and also beautiful Renea paper. So I'm going to start off by showing you the products I'm using. I'll be using Fireworks Spray in Bahama Blue, and with this spray you can see that collection of material at the bottom. That's the sparkle and glitter that comes in it, so it really needs to be um, shook very well before you use it. I'll also be using Cottage Ivy, Dandelion, and Ladybug. In addition, I'm going to be painting the little pig that you saw in the beginning with Angel Pink Memento and Love Letter Memento. And I also do add two other colors that I mentioned later in the video. I'm using Bristol Smooth paper and an A2 size card base. Bristol Smooth is important for the technique that I'm using, although you could also use watercolor paper. I'm going to be using this beautiful Renea paper, and I show you the wrong pack in the video. I'm actually using Metallics. Metallics has this beautiful silver color that you see. I'll be using this Hello Bluebird uh, pol polymer stamp set called Pig Day. In addition, I'll be using the die cut that you see here um, from Hello Bluebird, and I believe this is called After the Rain. And you can see I've already pre-cut the clouds out of this die, um, and then I've set those to the side. In addition, I want to take one piece of Bristol Smooth paper and use the same die to cut out a white frame and clouds as well as the rainbow because we will be coloring the rainbow with some firework sprays. And I'll also need the white clouds that you see. Because what we want to do is add a silver lining to our white clouds and we're going to do that with that Renea foil paper that's so pretty. So these are the three pieces that I'm going to be coloring with fireworks. I want a blue sky, so we'll start with the Bahama blue. I'm going to shake this really well so all of those mica um, sparklies are shook all into the bottle. I'm going to be spraying directly onto the Bristol Smooth paper, and I'm going to let it set for just a second and then I'm going to soak it up with a little bit of a paper towel. If you want a very smooth, light-colored background, using a paper towel is a wonderful way to um, get kind of a smooth, even background. So you'll see when I pick up the paper towel how beautiful and smooth that is. You get no color pooling, and also you don't have pools of that sparkle. However, I do want to show you, I'm going to take some of what's left over and smush it onto my paper. You're going to get a very different look when you do this because that mica kind of pulls in different places and now the background looks a little bit more mottled. In addition, firework sprays react really well with water. So I'm taking my spray bottle and just using the end to kind of tap on some water. I do touch it with my heat gun just for a second, let it sit for a minute, and then I put on my paper towel to absorb the water, and you can see you get these beautiful white splotches, perfect for a sky and background. Okay, now I'm going to set that to the side and go ahead and start working on the rainbow. I'm going to start with the ladybug first and do a similar um, technique as I did with the background. I'm just going to soak up that excess with a paper towel and then I get a light kind of ethereal color on this rainbow. I will tell you that the sprays that you see before you, there's um, the larger spray bottle and the smaller one. I prefer the larger because I feel like the spray is a little bit better and of course you get more product, which is also my favorite. So now I'm using the Cottage Ivy. I used the Dandelion, that was the yellow. And again, just applying the same technique. So I'm going to let those pieces dry and I'm going to go ahead and move to stamping the little piglet that I like um, for this card. And I'm of course using my favorite Nocturne Versifying Claire ink. I'm going to be watercoloring the pig and balloon so I think that that works best. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of a mask. I'm just using a post-it note and simply placing it over the pig and putting one of my magnets from my stamping platform on the top. This will mask the pig so I can put that uh, balloon with its string anywhere I want so it's going to look like it's actually behind the pig. Remember when you do masking you want the image that you want in the foreground to be the thing that you stamp first. So now I'm simply going to ink that up again with that Versifying Claire Nocturne ink and voila we are finished and we have a beautiful pig holding a cute little balloon. Now I did add a little black line to the back of his um, little piggy foot because I didn't cut that out, but I just did that with a pen and that was very easy. 
So now I'm going to be doing some water coloring with Memento ink. So I'm, again, I'm using the angel pink and the love letter. And I simply smush those down into my Imagine Craft mat. And then I pick those up with a um, four round watercolor brush. And I add water to those and simply watercolor. I'm going to speed up the video here for you because I don't think that, um, I think this is a pretty easy technique for a beginner and someone who's been, um, you know, card making for quite a while. But I love the idea of being able to use my inks for a different purpose. And so just picking two shades that are kind of close together or in the same color family really allows you to get a very simple shading. And um, it's very simple to blend Memento inks with water as they're a water-based ink. So you can just see I'm adding color here and there, trying to get some good shading. So now we're going to move to the balloon, and I've chose Lulu Lavender and Grape Jelly Memento inks. I was going to do a blue, but I decided with all that blue sky, I thought adding a little bit of purple would be a nice touch. So we really get a rainbow effect going in this card. So I start with the Lulu Lavender and then pull in some of that grape jelly. And, and I want those colors to blend kind of naturally. So when you add water to those, they should do that. And the way the inks react with the water and with each other allows them to blend quite nicely. So now I'm gonna go ahead and ink up his little paws. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut this little pig out. One thing I will say about VersaFine Claire on Bristol Smooth Paper is it takes a little bit of time to dry. So you need to either heat set it or you wait for it to dry before you start cutting. So now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the card. This is quite a process using this die, but I think the outcome is beautiful and worth it. So I'm taking the on point glue that I have. This is my favorite glue because it has a nice fine tip that I find has never clogged on me. And this bottle I've had for almost two years. And um, actually this bottle might be my new bottle. I had another bottle for two years that was fabulous. It never clogged. Now I'm adding that to that white cloud and simply putting, on, putting it on that metallic Renea foil. Um, so that the edge of those clouds are just lined with that paper and isn't that beautiful? I love the effect of having a nice um, silver lined cloud. So I'll do that with every single cloud that I'm going to be using on this card. And now I'm going to set those aside to add the frame. When you die cut with that after the rain die cut from Hello Bluebird, you get this little white frame. And um, I'm going to add my on point glue to that and then simply adhere that to the um, piece of Bristol Smooth that I added that Bahama Blue Fireworks to and simply adhere that. The frame gives you a place to start um, placing all of your clouds. So now I do want to add a little bit of dimension to this card. So my idea here is to glue down those small clouds first and then I'm going to pop up the larger pieces. So in order to do that, I put the large pieces down first, and then I simply add my on-point glue to the smaller pieces and adhere those. I'm doing this for placement so I know exactly where um, those small pieces should go according to the large pieces. And then once they're adhered down, I will add foam tape to the larger clouds and um, pop those off of the paper. You know, adding a little bit of dimension is a nice touch for a card that actually is a little bit plain, but I've heard recently a quote from a good friend that said, when in doubt, pop it out. So that's what we're doing here. We're adding some foam tape to those clouds and popping them up just to give a little bit of dimension to the card. So now the next thing I wanna do is add the rainbow uh, to this card. So again, I'm gonna be using my on point glue and going in order of red, yellow to green and just simply placing those in until they adhere down. I think this technique is a lot of fun because as you've noticed, the whole card has been colored with um, inks and sprays, which allows you to do a lot more with the craft products that you might already have in your craft room. You know, almost everyone has memento inks that they can watercolor with, and the fireworks spray is a great addition to your craft room as well because you can do a number of things with that beautiful sparkly spray. So now I'm gonna add a sentiment, and I'm using a happy birthday sentiment from the same stamp set. I'm inking that sentiment up with VersaFi, oh, no, sorry, VersaMark, and then simply rocking that back and forth a little bit on my card, and then adding some silver emboss from Imagine as well, and um, heat setting that embossing powder. 
and that is beautiful and matches that Renea foil paper just about perfectly. So now I'm using my double-sided adhesive tape from um, Imagine. This is called uh, Terret Tape. It's my favorite tape. I use a lot of it and I use it all of the time. I simply peel off the backing and then I'm going to adhere this panel to my A2 size card base. If you're not sure what an A2 size card is, that's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch size card. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of foam tape to my car, uh, to my little pig and then adding some on point glue to the back of his body just to adhere him to the clouds but also popping up his head and balloon because they do fall off of that popped up cloud. Now I'm going to be taking my sheer shimmer sticks and sparkle and you need to shake this really well. This is something that I actually just learned. When you shake it well you get all of the sparkles to come out and I always do a little test strip and you can see how sparkly that sheer shimmer stick is. It's beautiful. I'm also going to give you a little tip now. I wanted to add some sparkle to the clouds. Sometimes when you use the sponge dauber you get a little blob of um, sparkle that comes out. And if you don't like that, you can use your finger to kind of swipe it, or you can take a paper towel, dab up the excess so that the liquid dries, and then take the paper towel and kind of wipe, and you can clear some of those large um, blobs of sparkle if you'd like. So this is our finished card. I hope you enjoyed today's long tutorial and that you'll join us again at Imagine. Make sure to look in the description box for links to all the products I used today and also hit that subscribe button and join us again here at Imagine.